welcome back everybody to the next episode of Chrono Cross. In the last episode, we unfortunately lost the Grand Slam, but you know what? We're going to try, try again, because that's just what we do. I'm going to try a slightly different strategy this time that I'm hoping will work. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, let's see what our new contest is. So what I, originally what I was going to do is throw the Lagoonate into this one to kind of counteract the uh, Tarminator, but I do worry about it um, just kind of getting beaten. Or, sorry, I don't worry. Nope. Yeah, I worry about it getting, like, charged to death. So maybe instead we throw in a Cybot of our own. And then... I feel like you'd be very good. Do hey, let's do a couscous. Oh yeah, that thing. Um. Now nah, let's do the dodo. Know about the cybot? Maybe I should send in the lagoonate. Yeah, let's just try sending Lagoonate. And we can always uh, resurrect it with a Dodo if need be. Um, and then in the next round, I'll actually put in, probably put in something blue um, to try. Oh, wait, no, I just used the Lagoonate. Shit. Oh, well. Oh, well. So what we're going to do is take care of the Biba because it should go down pretty easily. Yep. Done. Awesome. Awesome like a possum. Um, and then we're going to take this thing out to breakfast. So all they have left is the other one. And then... Oh, wow. You actually attack. Okay. Actually damage me. Interesting. <sighs> Don't hit the Lagoonate. That's fine-ish. Well, hey, you're still alive. Perfect. Because um, what I wanted to do was... Is negate... You, just in case the uh, Tarmator got some wise ideas. We're gonna this. Okay, you're still alive. That's not what I expected. Let's go a lot differently this time. This thing is actually attacking us. Let's see, you're gonna take this out. I'm not gonna waste your stuff on another one of these things and not like the other yeah that's fucking right i got biznagate bitch aqua ball just for kicks and oh we have cure plus did not know that let's um eat biba healthy also it puts blue on the field for when i actually want to use just for kicks all right good enough Yeah. yeah, this is going much better. Then, sure, high res on ourself. God, you've got an interesting face, Biba. You might be kidding. Defense up. Ow. 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 Oh, good crit. Good crit. <laughs> wow, you're strong. Good job. But I think I need to take out that Spear Fisher first. Because uh, that was the one that gave us the most trouble in the last episode. Um, I don't think the Wingapede is going to be a great idea, to be honest. So, go with... Total Chaos again, because I want that uh, Black Hole, Terminator, and then... I don't think he Puffy. Yeah, let's go with Puffy. I think that'll do well. That thing was pretty strong last time we used it, and should hold up. Should hold up in court. Yeah, we're just going to target that Spear Fisher. Uh, what I'm going to do is... This guy. Okay, good. He didn't start off with that spear 
Ice Spear. You have 650 HP? Jeebus. Oh. That would be actually pretty good to stop all elements. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Because then I won't have to take Beaten Earth. I won't have to take Ice Spear. I like this idea. I like this idea. Still get rid of them. Oh, oh, the damage. We'll just get rid of the gobbledygook. Why not? Puffy! Actually, I want to see what all your attacks are like. So we're going to one, two, three. Leave him alone! Nah, like a flutter of fins. Actually, really cute. All right, yeah, we got this in the bag. It's fine. I mean, this part will take a while because, you know, his defense is through the roof. But we also have Terminators, so that's good. Oh! Your defense doesn't mean shit when you got the attack of the Terminator. And Fluffy? Fluffy, you're doing good. It's already... You're already... What? Red. Red. I mean, I can use them too. How do you miss with 92? Let's be honest. Oh, okay. Cool. So, screw it. Black hole you to, well, oblivion. Should do like, I'd say 200 damage. I think that's what I did last time. Fuck everything in. I mean, how does this work? Like, oh god, now, like, how does that work? 249 damage. Hell yes. And... Defend! Alright, hopefully he hits Terminator. No, oh, we should be able to list. Wow, we can't live because even with defending didn't work. Okay. Okay. Three. What? 99% missed? What a dick. That's fine. We use Terminator for a reason. He is a flippin' tank. Not a literal one. We'll get that later. Da -da -da. All right, round three. Fight. Resistance belt. Very good. You remember on the first round from last episode, we got a stamina belt. Yo, don't make me mad. This is it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna win. No, you're not. Um. No. No. Oh. Fuck me, I hit cancel! Oh, oh, that sucks. That is a huge mistake. Well, let's just, um, yeah, how far we can get. Fake waves! Oh, ball sack. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. What do you have, like squirt gun or some shit? Oh, I should have gone to the Isle of the Dam to get one of you. I mean, I was there, I just didn't go in. Wow, the Wrath actually, Wraith actually has a good amount of uh, damage, or HP. I'm surprised. <sighs> ah, what? You're powerful? Hellbound. Since your enemies. A trip. A hell? Or let's try. Oh, I was thinking hell soul, not hell bound. Ooh, that's that's creepy. There are faces in that. That's faces. Oh, I didn't die. Got darkness. Something. Alrighty. Taco ball. Man, I am so upset that I did that. So upset. <sighs> but hey, mistakes happen. Can I run away? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. We'll end it preemptively. End it quicker. Um, I'm sure that just makes me lose. Shit. 
chicken. Oh. <gasps> oh, that is so nice. I didn't know you could do that. So, Gurgoyle and uh, Cybot and... Um, that'd make a full yellow team to where if we were to get... Only the couscous was um, uh, green. Or, sorry, yeah, green. So, I think I have to worry about it. I did not know that we could do that. That is really interesting. Welcome, Iron Man. Has he lost his mind? Can he see or is he blind? Something like that. Exactly like that. Well, different melody. I changed it. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't you know? Eat this mother licking earth. <laughs> you have uplift. Um, let's go for the airframe, because these things are pretty powerful. Also, didn't know we could turn to the castaway. Good to know. Would love to be one. Bossiker, you have a lot of HP. Damage, damage. You, are you going to hit him with the shovel? Oh, oh, the damage. The damage. Don't kick me, bro. Please tell me I somehow get the, um, the bomb. I really doubt it. That was kind of a complex thing. I really doubt it. But he's like, he's holding the bag. Earthquake plus... Oh. Ah, tinnitus, go away. Oh, it's... Okay, so that's the highest I have. So let's just use Earthquake plus one. Sorry, tinnitus just hit me, and it's thankfully gone now. Oh, let me hit select. Also, I inhaled water, so I had to cough. Thank gosh for mute. Wow. You're not a magical attacker, Fossicker. Good to know. Sprayna. Guys, you guys are creepy. This is easy peasy. These lemons are for squeezy. All I gotta do is actually select a freaking... Um, let's try for the busy effect. Whatever that does. I don't actually know what the status effects do. I'll tell you this. Freeze doesn't freeze an enemy. They'll still attack you. It's really annoying. Smack him. Smack him. Oh, fuck it. Let's beat some earth. Maybe not. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. I disapprove of it. Actually, do I have a low res? I don't. Darn. Ooh, at least we have full yellow, so... Do something. Nice. Bossica, go! Yes! And we've done it! Love it, love it. And we'll get what? Dreamer's Scarf, I think? Yep, Dreamer's Scarf. God, this memory of mine. Can't believe I lost. No way. Oh, good. We're just the champions. We are the champions, my friends. Hey, don't go. I want to ask you guys something. Where'd you find such super duper monsters? I want to come with you. Uh, I want to come find some more with you. Have her join, yeah. Woohoo, Janice joined your party. Uh, I forget, what are you, yellow, green? Damn, that's a lot of inner boop. Hey, no, don't change. Confirm. What are your stats like? Oh, you're red? Huh. Decent magic, decent ex um, accuracy and agility. and Yeah. So she uses like drums? Kind of weird. Why is Nora so strong? Por qué? Give me a holler anytime. Any dollar make you holler? Just. I forgot she was red. I thought she was yellow for some reason. Uh, but let's look at Janice real quick. She has a weapon like a. Oh, yeah, a carrot. A very large carrot. Um, but I want to look at her stat screen because 
think I need to look at draggies as well. Cute baby dragon. I was just watching Mage Masters uh, Dragon Quest 4. It was like, I don't think I've ever played a game where I can play Recruit a Dragon. I was like, I just got draggy. He weighs 265 pounds for a tiny belt. Front left clawed is his um, uh, dominant hand. He's zero years old, guys. He is zero years old. He just hatched. Janice is bunny girl trainer. Um, she's 22. Origin of, is apparently the Zelbus. Uh, only 104 pounds at 5'7". Yet her build is plumpish. I see I see that. She's got thicker legs, which is it's good to see that they're not all stick chicks. I mean, she's still... She's not really plump, but, you know, I guess they're trying to include all body types. So I guess kind of good job, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Um, Now what to do? Now what to do? Oh yeah, I gotta go visit Nikki. That's what he. That's what we need to do. He said, come visit him. Sorry, my headset wasn't fully plugged in, so it was giving me very low audio, and I did not enjoy that at all. I think we'll be able to take the elevator now. I like, gotta be like, yeah, Nikki said you could come, man. Nikki's told me about all about you guys. Hop on, hop on. Also, stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. And right, so that's Nikki's. Let's go up to. Nikki's dressing room, sorry. Or not. Maybe they're all in, in Mickey's. I don't know. It's not like I've beaten this game over ten times. <laughs> Can't remember every detail, guys. Can't do it. There we go. Rockin', I knew you'd come. Well, now that we're all here, here's my idea. How would you all like to uh, save an island with a song? Huh. I think before you speak, Nikki, you've got to be out of your mind. No, I'm serious. According to the Ironess, the island of marble is infested with monsters. There's only weak, the only weakness is the demi human song that was the sage knows. While perform our gig near the island, these people will ex uh, exterminate all the monsters. Uh, that's, we will? Okay. Of course, you'll help out, right? Yeah, of course. Rockin', I knew you'd help. I shall gather all the demi humans on this ship to play backup instruments. It will be difficult for humans to play proper notes for a song. But don't we have to bring this ship over to Marble? Our ship's chained to the Zelbus, you know. And plus, we have a contract with that Fargo guy. We can't just leave. Yeah, I know. I don't intend to go with uh, um, our ship alone. Wouldn't want to disappoint the fans aboard the Zelbus. The only hurdle left is uh, to clear now is to convince my fa I mean Fargo. I'll leave that up to you, Aranus. We have to concentrate on setting up the gig. Hey, you know, this is starting to sound interesting. It's almost like a test to see how far we can take our shuttle. Yeah. So you're with me on this, Mickey? Great. Let's get ready for rehearsal, everyone. So since he's Nikki Six, I assume Mickey is based off of Mick Mars, also of Motley Crew. Thank you for your support, Sage. <laughs> I trust you will put on a good gig. I love the sage's hair, by the way. It's so... I love those... Maybe those are his ears. I'm not sure, but I fucking think they're awesome. Excuse me. We seem to have involved you in quite the task. If there's anything at all I can do, I will be happy to join you. Hell yeah. I've used her in my final party. She is fantastic, and she is our first blue innate character since we became Lynx. Let's see how she is doing. 20, but look at that magic of 21! Oh, fun guy. You might be getting replaced for a little bit, dude. Um, 
Ah, uh, fun guy's not really doing what I was hoping, but you know, let me know what you guys think. Do we want to use Aranus for a little bit? Actually, screw it. We'll use Aranus for a little bit um, because I do want to show off different people. I should also replace Sprig now that I think about it, uh, just to show off different people for right now. Um. Also. A few more things I believe we need to do. Do I need to talk to Fargo now or is that later? I do believe we have a very difficult boss fight coming up. Um, but yeah, let's go talk to Fargo. If that does anything for us. Are we really already going there? Wow, wait. Wow, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Fargo. Oh, so you folks found the sage, eh? Good for you. Now what you wanted. You got what you wanted. Now's about time you left. Uh, no, there we go. I don't want to hear it, Ernest. Marble will fall into eternal rest along with Zelbus' soul. Okay, guess not. Maybe another time. Yeah, it is It is later. We have to do more. Nope, nope, nope. Don't need to go there. That's how I get there. That's how I leave. Gotta go down. Go down the way we came. What does that say? Drink ocean? I don't know. We are. I think it's A and then ocean. <sighs> I think I need to put Radius in the party for a quick moment well, as we go to Hermit's Hideaway. Teleporter. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to do this first. I must do this fast. Dead Sea. Oh, wait. We got that new item we got to look at. Fiddler Crab. You can't go into the menu, by the way, if you have, like, a activate to go somewhere thing up. Fiddler Crab. A sculpture of a fiddler crab with a claw that shines like a blue jewel, said to be able to control the tides. Also, let's take a look at Irenus. Late Zelbus's sister, aged 16. Origin, the ocean. She is 5'10", 115 pounds. Build, mermaid, and she is right-handed. And has one hell of a magic stat. So, control the tides, huh? Oh, wait, where are you? Why are you way up there? Push that water, push that water, push water out. Whoa, whoa. Yes. Oh, wait, that next boss I was talking about that's tough is not optional. Sorry, he's definitely needed. I was thinking of a different guy that's optional. Ah, that sword. What? What is the evil sword Masamune doing here? Oh, it's no use. We'll not be able to proceed without going mad. Serge, we have no choice but to withdraw for now. Yep. The path appears to be blocked off by that sword. It must already be in there. The negative sentiment associated with that sword has intensified. It will be impossible to proceed without going mad. Best to be away. The Dead Sea is right under the noses. Only the Dragon Sword Einlanzer can break the seal of the Masamune. Einlanzer? 
Yes, the legendary holy sword forged by the Dragonites. I have I have placed the sword to rest beside the rightful owner, Gray. May he rest in peace within that cavern. Although it pains me to disturb his eternal sleep, we have no other choice. Where is this cavern? We know today as the Isle of the Damned. It used to be an ordinary cavern till it mutated into a nesting ground for demons. I believe that may be the result of Gray's sentiment which lingered. A negative sentiment which the Holy Sword could not even restrain. In order to make our way in there, we need a certain item that Gray used while he was still alive. I stored it away in a hut where Gray and I used to train. We must go there and get this item. Now nah, we have to go to Hermit's Hideaway. Board your boat? Why, yes, of course! By the way, Platypus, if you're watching this, um, I'm recording this the day that uh, we started the Digimon stream, so after this episode, I look forward to eating that burrito. Thank you again for buying me that food. It, it was... If you were like, I don't know what food to buy soul, and you ever want to buy me food, anyone, and you're looking at that treat stream, the Mexican food one, just, just do that. Yes, the sushi is great, but it's not filling, and that's a problem. The Mexican food is phenomenal. Dario's father, Garay, and I used to frequent this island on our training. Hey, Draggy. An adorable little dude. Dude, Garay is massive. You can look at that man. Hey, look, Radius has hair. I never noticed that. Nice. Uh, I lose again. Uh, you're always a half step too slow. You have a habit of turning your wrist when you swing down. I can read your every move. Ah, you're about the only one who knows that since we practice together so often. I thought I was a genius. Yeah, right. Ah, good old buds. Good old buds. The Iron Lancer is a legendary holy sword passed into the most skilled swordsmen of the Acacia Dragoons. It belonged to Gray before Dario took over the title. He was a magnificent dragoon. Oh god, we're, we're going this far already? This really be it? The Sword of Legend? The Masamune? Remember this place from the very beginning of the Let's Play, guys? Word. Leave it alone. There's something wrong about this. What could be wrong? This is the legendary sword! No, don't touch it! Eagre? There's nothing to fear! Jeez, look at those hips! Your hips don't lie, Radius! They don't lie! Huh. Perhaps not. Let's go, Radius. No use hanging around this eerie place. God, he's a big man. Ah! Masamune, that sword is cursed with hate and sorrow. Anyone who lays his hands on it will be overcome with negative sentiments and will be driven mad. I... Enough talk from an old man. Just wait here a moment. Okay, Dad. I'll wait. Bum bum. Ba da dum ba da 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 bum bum. But da dum bum bum bum. Is Irina sitting down? I think she's sitting down. I've not noticed that before. Radius, go away. I want to see her sit down again. Alright, let's wait. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, that is so cool. I did not know they had idol. I mean, I kind of knew, but I forgot. Sorry to keep you waiting. With this mirror, we should be able to make it to the inner part of the Isle of the Damned. The uh, race put away Gare's keepsake. Let us be off to the Isle of the Damned. Okay. Let's go. Um. So I would like to do some grinding with specifically Sprig and Fun Guy in the party for now. Just to see if I can get a mini level on them. So I'm going to do some grinding in here on the Fossickers. Um, hoping that's a good enough place. Uh, but in the next episode, we will actually go to the Isle of Damned. Off screen, I'm also going to do the Casino Grinding. 
Not sure if I'm gonna show winning because it's really just gonna be me being like, hey, look, I got this. Hey, look, I got this. So I'll figure that out as I go. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really did. Unfortunately, this is the final episode for the week. So I kind of stopped recording at this point for another week. And that makes me sad because I fucking love this game. Thank you guys so much for the support on this uh, project. It has been outstanding. Thank you so much for watching. Do take care. But until next time, bye-bye for now.